we thought we were doing pretty well, but actually when we did the audit, we realised we were achieving zero benchmarks, none of the benchmarks at all. We sort of did an audit and we were achieving two of the benchmarks. Our school was reaching none of them. We didn't achieve any benchmarks at all. We were achieving none of the benchmarks. However, we were partially achieving four of the benchmarks. Two years after we started the pilot, uh, we've now achieved seven of the benchmarks. We're now at the point where we achieve seven. Throughout the two-year pilot, we now achieve successfully all eight. But that doesn't mean to say our careers provision is perfect. It's an ongoing developmental role and we use the Gatsby benchmarks to order and measure our success. Now that I've been enrolled for three years, we have now achieved all eight of the benchmarks and we are looking towards gaining accreditation within um, the careers mark. It's been a real pleasure to do and you can see the impact that it's had on each and every one of the kids. In terms of delivering the benchmarks, what I would say is start off and work out which ones and what areas you are delivering. Focus on your strengths and play to your strengths. Don't try to achieve all eight all at once you need to find the best fit that is right for, for your school and, and your students and work from there. I would say certainly prioritise um, key activities, key personnel, key departments in the first instance and then build on the success. We formed an action plan from the initial audit uh, with the Gatsby benchmarks and spoke to SLT uh, about how we were going to implement this action plan as a whole school process, something that would be a holistic understanding for teachers, for stakeholders, including pupils and parents. And then we started with benchmark one. For me, one of the most crucial things, again, particularly probably for, for somebody who's new to this, is to, to use the audit to, to evaluate. You need to be honest when you do that. There's, there's no point sort of lying to yourself about where the program is at but if you can do that uh, and to understand where your starting point is then it's a lot easier to then start planning as to what you're going to do to, to improve the program and how you're going to achieve the, the benchmarks. The Compass tool um, from the Careers and Enterprise company which is an online tool and that's actually really helpful to, to give you in black and white uh, you know the progress that you're making against the benchmarks. On the Careers and Enterprise Company website, there's some fantastic documents about what works well, linked to the benchmarks, so looking at those to try and find what you could do with those benchmarks that you're not quite achieving yet. I come from a subject leader background, so in terms of mechanisms for introducing Gatsby benchmarks and managing those, very much came at it from a quality assurance point of view, like you would any other subject or any department in school, so setting up um, meetings, uh, training, CPD and also the time to review what you're doing uh, was really important. I think the important thing to get across with the benchmarks, careers and the benchmarks themselves are not about individual events, it's not about let's have an event and that'll tick a box, it's about an ongoing process and, and building and progression of career learning just like it is in, in geography or history or maths for example. I think as well the key thing is moving from the idea that careers is the role and the job solely of the careers leader and that it's not so to get it truly embedded it's getting everybody on board which can take time but it's getting everybody on board so everybody is looking at careers and sort of embedding careers within the curriculum not as kind of a, an add-on. The factors that helped us to achieve all of the benchmarks had to have been that so many teachers came on board and they were able to support the process, they were able to support the strategy behind developing a careers programme that was going to stay for good.